Welcome to my channel, exploring old technologies and seeding new ideas. Let's begin. Over Christmas, I decided to upgrade my home's eight-year-old internet distribution system for a more modern mesh network. Taking advantage of holiday specials, I purchased an Orbi AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 system from a local Costco. This replaced my 880L D-Link rotor. While the Netgear modules were fairly straightforward to install, the new system wasn't without a few hurdles to overcome. In this video, I'll give you an overview of what came in the box and explain a few of the problems I ran into. This three-band mesh product came with a main rotor to connect to my Bell Internet Provider's modem, along with two satellite units for distant locations in my home. It was well packaged and came with a separate power supply module for each unit. As a bonus inclusion, there was a Cat5e Ethernet cable to augment the Wi-Fi connectability with hard wire access to the internet at the rotor or at the satellite locations. And access to the system features are cleverly presented in an all-inclusive smartphone application. And finally, the included diagrams identify connection points to facilitate installation. So the first thing to go was my rotor, which was starting to have trouble keeping up with the Wi-Fi enabled devices being added to my home. But things fell apart quickly as I attempted to mount the new rotor. Its poorly seated brass bushings fell directly into the product. This added an unexpected delay since there was no obvious means to open the enclosure, and it took quite some time to recover from. Instead of a nice mounting surface, a board had to be configured for a snug fit since there was no way to reinstall the bushings. My next installation hurdle was registering my security camera to the network. I was not expecting a problem because Netgear specifications claimed 2.4 and 5 gigahertz radio support. And this was an important buying consideration since the majority of Internet of Things devices, like my Deco security camera operated 2.4 gigahertz. However, I quickly discovered that consumer grade models like Costco's AX3000 do not support turning off the 5 gigahertz dominant radio. This favoring of 5 gigahertz presents a unique challenging situation since it locks out any 2.4 gigahertz device from acquiring the network SSID and password credentials during setup. One blogger suggestion was that I physically position my camera outside of the Orbi's 5 GHz range so that it would be forced to initiate a 2.4 GHz setup exchange. However, my camera is mounted on my home, so this suggestion is not very convenient. Luckily, a better workaround was suggested in the forums, not requiring the dismount of my camera. Since the smartphone hotspot can be set to 2.4 GHz matching the camera, it should be able to pair and share credentials with it if held in close range. So the trick is to make sure the smartphone's hotspot logging credentials temporarily match those of the Orbi network. With those challenges behind me, my Orbi smartphone app reports that my network is up and running, along with the security camera. I was delayed to find the ability to wire my workstation directly to one of the satellite Ethernet ports for better internet connectivity without hardwiring back to the Bell modem several rooms away. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be looking forward to preparing another one for you soon. Mm -hmm.